sorry. She's taken right, away okay. immediately, so we need to. Afterwards, just... afterwards. Okay, cool. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Love, Lust, and Lunacy. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jirai Rai, and I'm joined by. Hey, I'm Susie Sitcom. What's up? What's up? Hi. <laughs> I'm hiding in the shadows from now on. This is you guys can be the pre people. I'll, I'll just sit That's back where you belong. I'll be a logo from now on. <laughs> Saying come into the light. <laughs> Where's the hair and makeup crew? I'm really needing the hair and makeup this morning. You're gonna pick out your eyes. <laughs> Will I make it look like a panda? That's what I want. That's the spirit animal she needs to channel today. Okay. Oh my god, the church fun. Sure, design like wrong. Okay, this is going yeah, you, to a sexy start, Susie. You um, can't was, see, right? You can't see my. What do you mean? The video is on. I know, but you can't see my breast, can you? No. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, you can't so, see my bra. Would you like to see my bra? It's really pretty, actually. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> it's Diamante. <laughs> for the Keep rating classy for the rating you know what because i'm doing sequins now i just yeah, i was gonna just, say I, what are you mm, wearing where are you i going? just nowhere yes. that's the now i've been hung over in bed all day and <laughs> i'm just like i need to i need to channel some energy so i'm gonna oh allow the outfit to do it you I'll know go, i'll go put on my wedding dress right now Give me a <laughs> Oh, it's funny. So, a little you look hot. There. I, like oh, thank my you. Outfit. I got a pink Floyd shirt on. That's cool. I like it. I like it. We Very can take nice. it off if you want. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? Just be free. Just be you. Show you my best <gasps> assets. Exactly. No mystery here, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm just you gotta lead. You gotta lead. Okay. Um, so, Jenny, I have to just say what? one thing before we begin. I am. Um, I haven't had sex, and who knows how long. So, I am. Mm. My uh, my brain actually stops working at a certain point. I realize. No, 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 no. It's a medical condition. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it's we're gonna. <laughs> so I'm a little. We recognize bit, yeah. it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm don't worry. Up. We don't discriminate with people medical conditions on the show. So it's okay. cool. Just so you know, when you ask me things, it's there's a bit of a delay yeah. because it's like the question and then pause and then oh I haven't had sex and then back to reality. Yeah, so it's like right. after every thought, there's a pause of. Mm. Ooh, it's been so long since we really need to help we need to find someone to help you with this medical condition to fuck right? the stupid out of you yeah okay well, <laughs> yes fuck the stupid out of me oh my god maybe like, i should dress sexier we got a love doctor out there you know somebody can help her you know the uh give her an injection of sorts should i show you i can, I can show you my bra maybe that will help this is a really nice bra I actually would like to okay to. let's see let's see it Okay, yeah, don't cool. keep talking about it. You can talk about it. You know, walk, the walk here. <laughs> it's, I'm teasing you. At the end of the yeah, show, exactly. I will do the big reveal. Oh, big reveal I like that. We're going to keep viewers tuned yes. in. Keep the viewers tuned in. I like that. Show, I like that. Right, Maybe put the, like it, put the Instagram details. Put the Instagram details on your breast quickly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's you know, because if they're disappointed, they'll tune off, right? So at least, like, we keep the suspense. And if they don't like That's it, they're not Yeah. Maybe one, one breast halfway you know through the show and then the second one like oh and you're like i'm saving the second one which is my better one you know can you, can you see it can you see it here here well, here's the reveal you can't see that right like oh no i can't see i just see straps see so here we go i'm shirtless today shirtless okay Fridays. okay it's good. the camera's gonna work its way down as we go right. through the show so tell me Susie, how the more followers we have, I'll take off more clothing. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Like a one hook comes off, you know, kind of thing. Oh. 1,000, 2,000. Yes. Um, yes. Come so on, what man. are you doing about this, um, about the situation you've got? About... The sex situation? Yeah. Any, any luck in the why apps I'm this week? I'm not here with you. Uh, that's yeah. why I'm here with you, taking off my clothing, because I'm hoping, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's you just know, not bad. Get the quality um, guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it is definitely, that's, it's a quality thing. Like, it's not, it's not available because every time I perform stand-up, even on a Zoom show, you know, there's somebody available that says, hey, I want to fuck you. Hey, are you down wow. to fuck which, which is really is like. the comics? Is yeah. Or audience members no, just showing some it, appreciation? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's other comics. Mm. And I, I basically have come to the conclusion that, um, 
when a comic does that, it's not even, hey, can I take you out? Or I like, can I ask you? It's just mm. right the box. And it's equivalent to a man coming up to me and just farting in my face. Ew. You know? Yes, it's yes, so I don't gross. favor that. Yeah, I mean, how mean? rude. It's, they also just sound just really so gross. cheap. It's, just yeah, like, it's uh, you want to come back rude. to mine? And you're like... Yeah, it's gross and rude. That's what I'm saying. It's just basically like a guy, he might as well just fart in my face because it's going to be the same reaction when you come up to me and say, I want to fuck you. It's, yeah. it's just as repulsive as, you know, a fart in the face. So that's mm -mm -mm. my um, way to describe it to guys next time they say it to me. And so I'm just kind of tired of it. And then I get well, Why do you think you're getting that reaction? Is that like... A lot of female comics in LA, that, that's like just one of the, it's like part of the process, whatever. Oh yeah, you know. I, I think, um, you know, when you get on stage, it's just sexual harassment comes with this category, you know? Mm -mm. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Just wear a t-shirt saying hashtag me too. <laughs> no, I do that. I actually do that. I do that. Hashtag. I go hashtag me too. Well, maybe it's because I'm so quick to take off my shirt and show my boobs to everybody. I was gonna say, maybe I have it in the bra. <laughs> me too. Me too. Oh, <laughs> or just there on a nipple. Each nipple. Each nipple. I'll get pasties go. that say me too. Pasties. Yeah. Me too. That'd be Keep fantastic. I'll just jog naked. Me too. It's classy. <laughs> But I'm um, sorry, I interrupted. What was the second point you were going to say after we were saying the sexual harassment? Just part of the comedy game if you're a woman. Oh, unfortunate. Um, or maybe you should preempt that. Maybe sexually harass them first, huh? You know, they come well, up know, the, actually, and they just so grab funny. their crotch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've actually, I actually have turned the tables. That's so funny Ooh. you said it. Yeah, because <laughs> the DMs. So you know how guys like slide into your DMs and they're, what's mm. so I've just like turned it around and I'm like, hey, send me a picture because I'm I know it's gonna happen, so I'm just gonna beat you to the punch. They're like, what kind of mm -mm. picture? I'm just like a nude. What do you mean? Like so I'm like hitting it hard and then I'm scaring them and they're <laughs> back in the way. And I oh, think it's good, so huh? Yeah, yeah. They're scared. They're not used That's to right. it. Mm -mm. So men aren't used to aggressive women, and yeah, I think yeah. it's hilarious because in the comedy world they're so aggressive. And yeah, they're so yeah. aggressive towards women. So I'm just like, well, the only thing is, in person, it's a little bit different because if you do get aggressive with them and they're gross, they will yeah. probably pull out their penis. They'll just literally Ew. pull out their dick, you know? So mm. then you got to be ready to run. <laughs> yeah, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know? you got to dish it out. If you dish it out, you got to take it, right? So That's true. That's true. You don't want to so take it in this right. instance. And I don't, but... <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 so I don't want to take all of it, you know. It's got to be the right one that I want to take. You know? Yeah, yeah, fair, fair enough. And sorry, what were you gonna say after that? I think you had like another. Was there a, a dating, a second dating annoyance um, this week Dating's... that you've experienced from the apps? I don't know. Sorry, you were gonna say something. Oh no, no. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's just the fact that I'm a little bit, you know, slow because I haven't had sex. I get to this. Mm -mm where I can't like concentrate. Um, every thought is interrupted with the fact that I have not had sex. Oh, I was saying that when I get on stage, I talk about the fact that I'm newly divorced. You know, mm -hmm. I, I was a professional married person and now I'm <laughs> retired and you know, I'm living the dream life of being a single person now, you know, cause after being married for almost 20 years, it's yeah, kind yeah. of like you, you're curious about the grass is always greener. And so I'm like, oh, I'm living the dream life. I'm out here now, like the rest of you animals, hunting for dick and coochie, you know? I'm like a caveman going out hunter and gather. And so I was told by a comic last week, he's like, well, you know, you can't go out there and say you're hunting for dick because he's like, are you a horny bitch? I was like, whoa, that's Why? Right, he said that's really aggressive. He's like, if you say that on stage, you are inviting people oh my to come up to you and say that they want to fuck you. I said, it's comedy. I'm not Exactly. Stage. What no. a fucking idiot. What a yeah. fucking idiot. It's like everything I used to do when I, I did stand up. Yeah. I did this thing about sticking ice lollies up my vagina. I don't actually fucking do it, people. <laughs> what is an ice lolly? I love the British like, term. Um, popsicle. Like, a popsicle. Yeah. yeah. Ice yeah, so, so, lolly? I had it's this whole thing. Polite. It's like With Mary Poppins. It's so like, <laughs> the ice lolly, that's my vagina. So yeah, I just had this whole thing about what you call it. Like it was really hot in the summer, and that's how I thought would be a good way to cool down. And then plus, like I would taste really delicious as well, so I can like do flavor requests. 
Yes! But I mean, it's just like, no, I'm not like running after ice cream vans like with a hard on in my pants. I mean, like, no, guys, that's a joke. Right. It's a joke. Don't yeah, girls do that, no, though. I know women that do that. What? <laughs> yeah. We get- well, apparently... Go on, Vaughn. Wait, I was what? just going to, I was, yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Let me just say this. We have a problem with the link for Nick, so we oh, need no. to switch the link. I'm going to give you, because I, I put him into the room and I inadvertently thought I was just removing him from the room and inadvertently booted him from the whole you know, uh, thing, <laughs> yeah, so he can't get back in. So uh, I got another link for you right in the in the chat, the WhatsApp feed, and he's already there waiting. Oh, so, Jenny, yeah. I wanted to okay. join your got party. It, I was actually going to tell you whilst I was getting dressed, but then I was like, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think you, you, you should have told me. me the sequin type. I don't know if I should just been wear a party outfit. Wear no, party I think outfit. we should always wear party outfits, actually. Yeah, it's so fun. do it. I actually used yes. to wear like party outfits to the office like all the time. Me? Like, oh, oh, my God. I, <laughs> I wear gowns when I clean. I used to wear gowns when I <laughs> Casual outside, sexy at home, you know? <laughs> yeah. My little secret with my husband. Oh, I like that. And now um, I have no one to dress up for anymore, so you can, I can dress your up. Your kids? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> They'll be like, my yeah, mom's always sexy. Mom's always sexy. Oh my um, God. They saw these things that I bought. I bought a bunch of these um, onesie, right. like, oh, right. yeah, like lingerie, <laughs> not onesies, lingerie. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and our place is so crowded, and I ended up just folding them and putting them in their drawers, and they freaked out. They were like, Mom, are we getting a dog? <laughs> what do you mean? She goes, look at dog. this. It's like a dog leash. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, my God. It was so, and I'm like, no, that's mine. And I'm like, those are my <laughs> mom's pajamas. And she looked at him. She goes, what are you talking about, Mom? They're just that's like. so funny. Looks like a leash. I'm like, um, yeah, let's just not talk about that. I think some oh. people would have been like too embarrassed. So they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're getting a dog. <laughs> Let's go right now with this lie. You're like, ah, oh, now we've got a fucking dog. <laughs> it's like, don't put the outfits on the dog. Mommy can't wear them now. You know, yeah, there's my collar. <laughs> so, um, the other day I ended up flashing what? my daughter's class. Oh, okay. on, on purpose? Is that how, like, the teacher parent on purpose. like, this is boring. <laughs> no, I, I, she was in the bedroom and she yeah. was uh, watching Zoom in the bedroom and she decided to turn face her back towards the door but of course the screen towards you know the oh and I had no idea and I was getting dressed and I you know left the towel in the bathroom so I was naked and Mm -mm. um and she was lower so they got a full bush shot basically and it's no bush so and I saw the teacher like looking the whole classroom I'm like this is why my daughter turns off the camera so (laughs) you know what I was thinking about this I was talking to someone here and we were talking about saunas and what do you call it steam rooms and he was saying how in especially like any nordic country it's very germany included it's very common to go into the saunas naked and oh, yeah. i just feel and like over here in england there's an absolute no no if you did that oh. you'd be reported it'll be like oh. no way Cause it, well so i think maybe though in those like european sauna situations they're segregated but i'm just thinking i can't i hope i didn't bring this up last time but i just feel like the more we see um you know pff, bodies or whatever yeah. yeah body as i was gonna say not just like you know kind of genitals whatever it's just it just normalizes it a bit and like it's more of a healthier um it's healthier to have that attitude than be like oh no naked body like naked bodies yeah. are beautiful especially you know like no matter what shape and size and well maybe okay a bit of a hypocrite sure. and talking about no. size um Absolutely. from last but, week like, yeah, I'm talking about size. <laughs> <laughs> oh god anyway no, um, I totally agree, but I don't think it was my place to show my uh, bits to her third grade class. <laughs> I think, you know what, you're going to be like, yeah, I did that on purpose because I've got nothing to hide. I want my children to help have a healthy relationship with their bodies. So you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to own it. Own it. So but help me, help oh, me yeah. address this comic. Like, it really bothered me that he said mm. that to me, that because I said on stage that I feel like, you know, getting on Tinder and getting on Bumble and all these dating sites, I see, I feel like it's very archaic because we're using, Mm -mm. you know, all this technology to hunt for our basic needs. So I feel like, you know, I'm getting on a glowing cloth, I'm getting a spear, and I'm just going to the computer, like, we hunt for dick, we hunt Mm -mm. for dick. And he said, because I say that, that he has the right, he's like, you can't, he's like, "You, you, you act like a horny bitch on stage. So it's, you are asking for people to come up to you and say they want to fuck you and you're inviting that i'm like 
And he's like, and then he started yelling. I'm like, no, I'm not. He goes, yes, you are. He's like, I'm just going to tell the truth how it is. And we like, he was screaming at me on the phone because he was helping me with my comic. He's a comic that's been in the business for 34 years. So he is like the epitome of kind of what's wrong with comedy, how the male mm -hmm. attitude is. The woman gets on stage, if she speaks of sexuality at all, which men do all the time, it means they're open for dick and anyone's dick. No, yeah. obviously it's like I have a choice on who I'm going to sleep with and who I want to fuck and who I don't want to fuck. It's not an invitation because I talk about sex. Like guys on stage yeah. talk about sex all the time. Disgusting comics talk about stage. It doesn't mean that, hey, that means they're welcome or open to my pussy. You know what I mean? It's just gross. Yeah. So like, I, this is the hardest part of stand-up comedy here. I didn't rate this guy at all. Um, I mean, you could just turn it around and like just take things from his set and go, oh yeah, you talked about, I don't know, doing something to an elephant, blah, blah. Or like, yeah, is that something you're actually gonna do like in real life? I mean, I think it's just a really stupid argument. And I feel as though I, when I used to do stand up, my sets were very, you know, sexually explicit. But it's just maybe because it's in the UK and like maybe the men have different temperament, but. Yeah. They would definitely take it with a massive bag of salt. And maybe okay. afterwards, it could be a bit of a, like, oh, you know, is that something you're into? And they're like, no, because it'd give me thrush. So no, I don't put ice on these up my vagina. But, you know, so um, he just sounds like It'd a be idiot. a sticky situation for sure. Hey, <laughs> hey, exactly. Hey. Oh. Oh, Jenny, can you help me get on stage at some of the comedy clubs in uh, London? Because I'd love to some shows like that'd that. be yeah yeah i'm gonna send you some stuff but guys i've got a question for you actually a friend of it, a friend of mine brought it up so i find okay i've got off the the apps recently because i well, I, I sent you a picture of my most compatible match and <laughs> honestly i just feel oh it's just such you know you're single why, and why not necessarily on that? Why uh, i know on i mean i, I you know you're single you're not necessarily happy so you've got an open wound and then like the most compatible is just like salt and tequila just being shoved no. in there no. and no, you're just like was... why why no. you know gut no. punch me like that you know like i'm no, already that... feeling a little shit <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i agree yeah. right like the algorithms like why is the algorithm oh. me i'm ugly it's so mean it's so cruel <laughs> honestly right? yeah they're just those algorithms like why are they there to just like just tear away anybody's like little shred of hope that they're like, clinging right. on to for dear life honestly I'm, 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 honestly i am off i am Wait. off so, <laughs> so i'm having a bit of a hiatus from the apps but obviously it's not the best time to meet people in person but a friend of mine was asking me the other day because she's like jenny i always wait for the guy to make a move on me and i'm like yeah i guess i've traditionally done that or sometimes they've been depending on the setting you can organically um you know have a conversation out of nowhere and then they feel a bit more comfortable or you feel a bit more comfortable to lead so my question to you susie and Vaughn, and actually i want to hear the female and male perspective is what is the best way okay initially you would say for a woman to shut up a man are there any things that have worked for you or that you like you've witnessed like how would you recommend like women can be like more proactive and you know approach a man and um, you know, maybe come out with a date at the end of it well I have no problem going up to people when I meet them I mean if, yeah. I, if I'm you know so it's such a different game in person than it is mm. online so I don't know yeah. the online game is just whatever it's the luck of the draw right you swipe and you try to pick and you be I think you know the problem with the online game is you have to be picky you can't be, because they are putting their best foot forward. And I noticed that a lot of it is bullshit. So you have to be as picky as possible because I mm. think inevitably you're going to be uh, disappointed, right? When I yeah. tried to give people a chance and I was like, oh, I'm not going to be so superficial. And then I ended up going on a date and crying. Like that guy you went out with or that, that you matched up with, that's exactly mm. what I looked like. Like I was, would cry. I'm like, okay, I'm not, I am charitable, but I can't to the point where I'm, suffering you know <laughs> well you don't want to describe a, a day as an act of charity <laughs> right exactly like what's wrong with me what's wrong with me right so um but as far as going up to someone in person hey how are you i mean it's no like just normal no like tricks no like mm, you know i feel it's like, like a lines, feather bouquet 
yeah, if you're not yourself and you're not authentic, like, I just feel like it's so weird. Like, pickup lines are so cheesy, unless you're, yeah. you know, making a joke. Unless you're making yes, a joke. Yes, I agree. Like, yeah. break the tension with a some laughter, and then you're like, okay, you get any more? Yeah. Any better ones? Or <laughs> right. right. If a guy comes up to me and he makes a cheesy, like, does a cheesy pickup line, and it's really cheesy, and he laughs, yeah, then yeah. it's funny. I'll talk to him, you know? But, mm -mm. um... If somebody has something like planned out and it's orchestrated, like it's a little bit creepy. I mean, okay, yeah. so I'm yeah, reading from a script. <laughs> okay, so I have a friend who um, was out on a date. She, no, no, I'm sorry. She went out to dinner by herself. So she was having dinner at a bar, you know, during quarantine. And a guy mm. sent over a, he bought her a shot of um, this expensive tequila, what is like 1894, whatever that expensive. Vaughn, you can help me out with that. Um, the, but expensive shot of tequila. It was like a $60 shot. He sent it over to her. Mm. He said, you look beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Well, here's the thing. And then he asked for a number and asked her out. Well, the same thing happened to a friend of hers. Oh, this yeah. He's guy, like, play by numbers. Oh. Like, he does this every time. If he sees someone, he sends her over this expensive shot to the bar, picks up her tab. It's this. So my friend probably would have been impressed and she was impressed mm. she went out with him but it was kind of creepy because it was a routine this guy did why is it creepy yeah. because it's a routine if you have something that works that's called an established pattern of success so why would i oh, now... okay i'm sorry i i didn't let me finish man it wasn't just the shot he asked her out which is the same thing then he pretends that he is this billionaire and shows pictures of his mansion to invite that's you weird. over and then blows you off to see how angry you're going to get. So that's the weird part. I'm sorry. This what? was a whole pattern. It wasn't just, hey, I'll buy you a shot. It is this, there was this pattern of, I'm going to buy you a shot, ask you out, then invite you to my home, and then send you pictures of my million dollar, billion dollar, man, multi-million dollar mansion, and then blow you off. So like, yeah, that's that was. Gig. That's just what he gets off on, so. Right, mm. right. But exactly. do you think he even has the mansion? Maybe that's why he's got like, he's got like photos just from some right, magazine exactly. or no, his he friends, doesn't. and I'd be like, "That's why I didn't invite you because I actually live in a shed in the, right. the grounds of the that's mansion or I something said, like exactly. that." Yeah, that's what I said. His family may own it, whatever, whatever. But I think the fact that you know he's trying to weed people out to see if that's the only reason why. But at the same time, it's like you're fucking putting that forward, like I'm trying to impress people mm -mm. with that. So it's like you're an asshole. You know, you're just a dick and you're an asshole. So it's. It's kind of weird, but what I'm saying is, Vaughn, it's not just the buying a drink. It's the whole orchestrated ordeal, you know, like mm -mm. the one, two, three plan thing like that to trick someone. It's stupid, you know? So I don't know. I feel like people should just be like more in the moment and really enjoy a person. Like I met a guy when I was out on a um, sales call and he walked in, he happened to be in this film studio that I was checking out and I was like, oh my God, he was so cute. And so I just went right up to him and I said, hey, how are you? I introduced, you know, I didn't say, hey, how are you? Um, I said, hi. You know, I just said, hi. And he's like, hi. I would love to see how it actually came across. You're like, hi. <laughs> I broke up my phone. A little bit of drill. <laughs> I just got up, I dropped on my knees. I dropped on my knees and I was like, hi. I pulled out his pants and I started sucking his dick. Really, that's what happened. And like, I, I wasn't quite expecting this at the sales conference, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, um, yeah, I, I just, I just gave him my number. I was like, hey, and we talked a little, and I could, ta you could feel, I could feel the energy. I could feel, like, I was very attracted to him and I could feel he was very attracted to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And, and so I'm just like, hey, um, I'm here on a sales call. I wanted to see if I could help you with your um, sanitation and with what? needs. And it was in a film studio, you know, because it's right. for them. Just right? sanitation. Um, yeah. Sanitation and Sounds like you're needs, a plumber. Right? Coronavirus. So anyway. Yeah. COVID, <laughs> COVID <laughs> compliance, COVID compliance on set, right? During this time. Yeah. Because, you know, there's all these sets of rules. And he happened to be um, a big producer and recently divorced as well uh, oh uh, uh, okay. uh, 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 no, 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 no. that's where i got ugly so oh. he was interested he was mm -hmm. interested we liked each other it was an instant connection instant bond and i said but listen we have to do work first i mean i came here for business i want to do business first then get and, to that business yeah, back to the business. yeah, yeah. <laughs> turns out he was still married 
Turns out he was still married. Oh, we're not Hot. even getting a divorce. Not even that. <gasps> no, he was That's separating. He good. was living somewhere else. I think they were living apart. They were fighting, whatever. But still, he was still married, and I'm not down with that. I'm not going to be with somebody who's married. You know. So uh, I'm not, yeah, not my, my not my thing. I'm not a cheater. I don't want to be with a cheater. But the point was, I just went but up they, to him. If and they've to him actually, and was- for me, I'll be honest. Yeah. I don't think I would have an issue if they were filing for divorce because sometimes divorces yeah. take, it can, they can take years. So I just feel like if it is he, definitely cut off, there's, you know, like there's no chances of reconciliation. And like, but then again, like sometimes they don't even know that. And I don't know, but like, um, if they've been separated, living separately for a while, then I think I'm safe to proceed. It's not ideal. You know, I would no, rather. No, his like, stories, I agree. I agree. But his stories were changing. It was, uh, he was divorced and then he was separated. And then he was, well, you know, I'm still married. I'm like, no, I didn't know you were still married. No, I told you it was complicated. Oh, that's what it was. I told you it was complicated. So it was like, mm, oh, no. I'm supposed to know what that means. Okay, cool. Yes. Right. So it was the, yeah. I'm bullshitting you, you know, it's like yeah, basically. Out of town on a business trip. So I'm like, you know, no, thank you. But the initial just went up to him and said, hi. And it was fine. Like we just ended up talking and bantering and. Maybe it was easy because he was married. <laughs> mm. I mean, this is my issue with um, chatting up guys in person because for me, one of the obstacles is that I don't know if they're single. So obviously if they're wearing a ring, it's fine, you know, where he stands. But otherwise, I am just like, sometimes I think like, oh my God, what if I went up to a guy, you know, I'm like, hey, just exactly, I'll just be normal. How, you know, how you doing? Um, whatever. But then if they say, you know, like, then you have to, I feel like you need to ask a question. Hey, Nick. That's Nick, Danny. And um, have to ask a question to establish what their relationship status is. Kind of like, oh, like, oh, do you like coming here? Do you come here often? Do you come here with your girlfriend? You know, like, how do you? Or just be like, can you, I mean, I think I'll probably just like you, if you're single, would you like to go for a drink at some point? Maybe. Well, I think, you know, you just, yeah, ask, hey, what's going on? Are you, just talk. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Are you single? Boom. Just ask. Yeah, if you're single, no. And then like, no, you're like, cool. Yeah. So just cool. Great. I'm just it's gonna. Obvious. Great. Ooh, walk. Disappear. Nice Bye. And don't even make it awkward. It's just obvious. You know, it's like, it's nice meeting you. That's fine. And, and that's what I asked the guy. I said, hey, nice to meet you. And I did say it, you know. Uh, I do this and you're a producer. Great, great, great. Are you single? Well, Mm-mm. he said, he said, mm. well, pause. It's complicated. Yes. I'm like, but you're single. Yes. All right. That was it. Here's my number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's like, and two days really later, I got a call like, back. Are you single? Yeah. Two days yeah, later, yeah. I got a call back. But, you know, another one. We, we need to I got get business. Your call. Still. We need to get your got caller business. in. Yeah. We got, we got Nick on the line here. Hi, Nick on the line. I think he's muted. There we go. No, I'm here. Hi, oh, Nick. there he is. How's everybody doing? Good. We're How are good. you? How are so you? Can I see oh. multiple participants on my phone or no? Yeah, you got to swipe right to got it, the got end. It, got it. Yeah, yeah. So, Nick, so we're, you got, had a date last night. You've got about 12, 12 minutes left, you guys. Okay, let's hear your date. I had a date last so night. Nice uh, for you. Music. You're the only one. <laughs> she is from uh, Houston. Houston, mm. Texas. Yeah. Uh, How'd you do she, um, We met on uh, an Hinge, which is rare ah. in, uh, in Italy. We, we, yeah, we went to a really great, um, really great spot uh, here in Florence and Nice. Uh, then went to another restaurant afterwards and then made nice. out and yeah, it was great. Made out and what do you, mean? you went to two restaurants. How yeah. hungry were you? <laughs> great. I was not, uh, I was not, uh, really subscribing to the COVID rules, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So you took her out to dinner and then you went somewhere else for dessert or drinks or how, why did you go to no, the place? We, we, we met up for drinks at the first place, the Cafe Pietro slash uh, music venue slash wine shop, very okay. Italian, European. Um, and yeah, then went to dinner somewhere else and then I walked her home. Okay. So, and that was it? Nothing more? 
Yeah, now because. I just know where she lives. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> how you, you, you met her on Hinge? That sounds super out. creepy. It's like now I just know where she lives. <laughs> Sorry. Um, is that is that something we need to worry about as women? Like uh, a guy knows where we live. Should not we if not it's like it? Nick. So, I mean, no. Nick. We've 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 spoken with Nick, and I wouldn't worry I about Nick. Honestly, I was drunk enough where I I couldn't even tell you north, <laughs> south, <laughs> east, of course, oh. fucking Brother. north where she Brother. lives. <laughs> so we have. Two women, we dressed up for the show today because Jenny dressed up. I changed. I put clothes on wow. for you. And then now you're telling me you had a date. So I'm going to go just take this sexy bodysuit off because there's no point. Let's just take off our clothes, Jenny. There's no point. Thanks. Nick's obviously met somebody. This is useless. <laughs> I'm not even on the camera. Um, so, Nick, we want some advice on how to approach a guy out and about. Like if we're interested in, yeah, just going up to him and chatting him up and seeing if he's single or, you know, is it appropriate? Do you feel uncomfortable if a girl would come up to you? And what should we say? What do you think? Is that too much to ask? Mm, my first uh, inclination to respond to that question is women come up to guys? I've never <laughs> ever had a woman come up to me ever but in my entire you life. You only want that. Okay. Wouldn't that make things so yes. much easier? Yes. Take pressure would, off men. Be like, yes, I would. I, I would be <laughs> so flattered right. and just Keep so it hat, open. Nick. You're getting way too excited over this subject. <laughs> oh no! Like even just the thought of it, I'm just like it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've wow. never, <laughs> I have I never so ever had insane. a woman approach me at a bar anything ever yeah what about friends that this is general that men right that women just don't go up hmm. would you say or would you say some of your friends have had experience of, of being chatted up um uh, yeah I, maybe my more attractive taller friends probably yeah um and I can't. Uh, how, how tall I, are you, Nick? Uh, five seven. Oh, okay. So we're well, yeah. not on the, on the print side of the game. At least you're not like five, 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 six. Day to be. Yeah, I'm, I, Prince was like five three. Let's yeah. be real. Yeah. So uh, I'm more on the Tom Cruise spectrum. Um, Which your Hollywood with, size. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, with, like without the muscles and the uh, and the um, cardio ability. Uh, no, I, well, I would say, uh, because I haven't done it personally, because the only experience that I have where women come up and chat to me first is at strip clubs. Um, <laughs> so, oh my God. Uh, Does that mean I can't, I, yeah, I can't really answer to, to, to what works and what doesn't for the woman making um the first approach uh but for my friends that that has happened to oh my god i don't know it seems it has always have have always gone well when they're just very direct and just say, mm. yeah i mean i remember i was in um because i'm from seattle and we went up to uh vancouver bc which is only a, an hour and a half uh, hour and a half drive away uh a friend of mine was approached by an an, uh, an an older woman who was very attractive and just said that I think you're really hot. Do you want to come back to my place? And he was like, "Whoa, yes, ma'am, I would love to." <laughs> and uh, we 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 did not see him until the next morning. And uh, my other friend and I who looked at each other like, "God damn it, ah, oh, motherfucker!" Yeah. Um, so uh yeah i think uh that's the dream I think she does protest too much does not really exist anymore mm -mm. Uh, if i'm if i'm being fair in shakespearean terms so it's okay that i'm super aggressive when i'm out and i go up to men i guess i i, I do i mean like i have no problem going up to somebody if i find them attractive and just yeah. saying hi and chatting them up and I yeah I'm, I guess I, it was just hard for me to say that you've only had women come up to you that were strippers so I'm like oh my god because I, I have had 
girlfriends tell me that I'm just way too aggressive with these guys. I need to wait, but I'm very, very impatient. So if I'm out, like, I I'm not going to, what, what am I going to wait for? If, if someone doesn't come up to me, well, I'm not going to be out for another month. So like, I'm, I'm going to come no. up to you. No, I, especially I, I now, you. exactly. You, know? yeah. you reap the harvest I, when you I, can. I would say it's totally not an impediment <laughs> to anything uh, romantic or serious by any means. I would, I would love if a woman came up to me at a bar. I'd be like, yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Great. Let's go. Yeah. It just, so, uh, you know, as a man, <laughs> you can't really be waiting for it. Not that special. I, Do you I mean, think you, a woman would say she's just average anybody. looking, whatever, but if she makes the first move, who me? Right. Have you not gone to a before? Well, I maybe because I'm right. not, maybe because I'm not young enough and attractive enough to like have guys hit on me. I don't know. I just have gross comics just throw their dicks at me, which is not, I don't consider that a, a, like a decent proposal for a date, you know? It's nah, like somebody no, 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 well, it's not a date. Like, fuck. come to mind. Yeah. Oh, so you just have to understand a lot of these guys just haven't really see this is what we were talking about earlier they haven't adapted a new game and you guys were mm. complaining about the tequila shot pattern so that that dick throwing pattern was working in like the 90s and maybe yeah. bled into the early 2000s and then now it's like that shit's not working so now you guys are complaining and guys have to regroup and they have to come up with some new rules for their uh some new place for their uh book See what um, do you do you honestly think that work listen if a guy offered to buy me a shot that's wonderful i think it's really nice it's impressive sure i don't care if it's his game but i'm saying if like, a guy came yeah. up to me and says do you want to fuck are you down to fuck like that i don't understand that working ever like that's not going to work for me and even yeah, if i was not going to work for you but there's some women good out note. there good no sorry i sorry hold <laughs> on i have to take this down i have to take this down sorry hold on I take this down. <laughs> Nick. Listen, every single time I go out and I do, um, oh yeah, you want it, you want, he's taking notes. Sure. Yeah, no, if you want to buy me a shot, a $60 shot of tequila, 1864, 1834, whatever that is, I will be very impressed. Yes, I will probably go up to you after you've sent me the $60 shot of tequila. Um, but for me, that kind of guilts me into having, I mean, Nick, I think that's what I'm Nick, it, right? there you go, Nick. Nick, do you hear that? So this is what you do, $60, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Right. You, no, no, save, no. you save up. You save up. Send you me a shot. Yeah, just one. You, you know. just you only buy one shot all night. Yeah. So it's like. But know. I didn't like that. I mean, for, because then I see that's that's saying I see this guy. He sent me the shot, and I'm like, no, I'm not attracted to him. Then, but I'm like, I have to go and say thanks. Or whatever. Sure, oh, actually, in a way, I want to. I would. I would want to refuse the shot if I'm honest, because I don't want to waste that's his that. time. I don't want to feel obligated. And you can, but that's um, your right. Feel, but then I feel that's very no, no, rude. No, no, that is your right. Yeah, I guess. But at the same you time, the I, I think I might have it, but just be like, thanks very much. Um, flattered, uh, uh, not interested. But I just feel. For me, that's like somebody trying to buy well, me a bit. If somebody came up to me and talked to me, I mean, first of all, like, what the fuck are you not talking to me? It's a little creepy. Like, I've, I've you know, seen you across the room, just send her a drink. I'm like, it's not like creepy. indecent. That, 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 that has, that has been, been, be that has been be the status quo for that sort of culturally, at least in America, I'll say. I don't know where else in the world, but we've always seen that on film. We've always seen that on television. You know, that's, that's been the play. Again, here we are back at, is that a cigar you got? Oh, no, it's not a cigar. Sorry, Nick. Um, that was the play that we had. Mm. That's, that's known as the business card. And so, and it's shit. It's from like the seventies. And I can't believe that people were still doing it today. Yeah. But, um, Listen, if a guy buys me a drink, me and my girlfriends a drink when we're out, I think it's nice. Sure, I'll go talk to them. If I look across the room and they're not attractive, I'll wave and I'll say thank you. That's all. If they come up, I will definitely say thank you. <laughs> you know, but if it is like to the point where the guy is just totally gross and disgusting and I'll say, thanks, no thank, you know, I'm not interested, no thank uh -huh. you. And I'll tell the bartender, no thank yeah, 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 yeah. you. Know? That's, you're dealing with a like a an inexperienced guy that does some shit like that. See, so guys, if here's my dating for men.com advice for the night. So if you see a woman that you're interested <laughs> in, especially in this type of situation, you go over to her, you don't send her the drink, you go over to her and you offer to buy all of her girlfriends a drink. 
because if yep, you that's, buy the yeah. you that's, buy the that's drink, classy that's classy and less pressure yeah so if you and, and plus if you buy the drink for suzy sitcom and she's not fucking with you like that then you don't fucked up and limited your options because now you can't talk to any of the other girls because you just bought right. suzy a drink so now you know don't worry about it, guys. The, the 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 freak in the group will make herself present once the drinks. <laughs> so bring buy around. And it's so true, though. If you buy off girls, born, you sounded so sweet. You sounded so gentleman like that, and then I'm like, oh, ulterior motives. I'm just trying to teach some of the young players some some game. I'm trying to put them up on game. That's all. It's experience. As no, someone who was so who was recently. You, a, a, yeah. a, a, a young single man who has been rejected in bars, pubs, clubs, all of them. Uh, yeah, I've probably been rejected, I mean, more times than you can even count on your hands and toes from women just saying, no thanks, you'll get over it. And there's always another opportunity. So go do it in yeah. person. Yeah, and then uh, you'll 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 get some yeses. As I mentioned last time I was on with you, Vaughn, is my 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 new approach is just asking. You know, buy him a drink, go out for a date. Do you want to make out? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. <laughs> See, that's, that's where that's where Susie's sitcom is right now. They're well, just coming up saying, "Hey, let's smash." So we're almost out of time. Say, hey, let's smash. That's what they're saying to you, and you're like, "Now get your dick." your gross right. 80s right. dick game away no, from me. You know what? I actually, so. mom, even if they said let's smash, it wouldn't even be as offensive. They actually use the word fuck. They're like, do you want that's to fuck? because you're in LA. That's their, they don't have any. That's why I say make That's never ever There's gonna no work. I told you. No it's like a guy anymore. coming up to me and just farting in my face. Like it's just that gross. You I know, know six <laughs> people that like that. They pay good money. So um, Jenny, wrap up. Uh, we're almost out of, time. <laughs> out of time. Okay. Out of time. I'm gonna lose it's you guys. Fans, bro. All right, thank oh. you guys thanks, for guys. joining us. And thanks to all the listeners. Please follow us on Insta, LovePod2020. We want to hear your questions. What do you want us to discuss and lead? You know, any comments and yeah, follow us. Oh yeah, and I, I, here's the boob reveal, right? Remember, blue bra, blue bra, blue Oh, here reveal. we go. So I, blue, blue oh, bra I forgot today. about this. this. Is my Thanks for listening. Here's my boob reveal. <laughs> I need a date. Yeah, get them. Everybody, get them out. <laughs> boob bo reveal. Get your boobs out. You wouldn't even I, notice I mine. But like, nice so freckles in the chest, Jenny. <laughs> Cause I take off my pants, remember, and it doesn't work. He said last time we were banned, but boobs are totally okay. Yeah, keep the pants on. That's the rule. That's the I rule like for the show. I like pants off, but um, yeah.